Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it's an honor and privilege to give an address at the Shenzhen Global Marine Economic Forum. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the organizers and the city of Shenzhen for organizing and hosting this very pertinent forum. Coastal areas and oceans play an ever-growing importance for our daily lives, our economies, and international exchanges. And we should not overlook the many important ecosystem functions and services provided by the oceans. But while the marine economy is of critical importance for our sustenance and growth, our ever-growing pressure on the marine ecosystem can threaten our very own future. Today, some 34% of global fisheries are overfished, and more than 80% of the world's fisheries cannot withstand increased fishing activity. Massive coastal aquaculture stations threaten the marine ecosystem by serious environmental degradation, including gene pollution. Due to uh, urbanization, coastal urbanization, only 15% of world's coastlines remain in the, nat the natural state. And marine pollution from industries, urban areas, and shipping undermines the capacity of the oceans to continue to provide us with our essential ecosystem services. These facts tell us that for the blue economy to continue to support us, we must radically change our approach to how we manage the marine economy. This was indeed recognized by the United Nations with the adoption of the Sustainable Development Goals. One of its goals, Goal 14, labeled Life Below Water, calls for national and international action for the sustainable management of the oceans and the seas for the very simple reason that ma the marine ecosystems are more protective than they're healthy. In this context, I would like uh, to share with you the experience of my country, Iceland, where the sustainable blue economy has been the driver of growth and innovation. I believe that it is important to tell you the story of Iceland for it demonstrates that sustainable development is both viable and beneficial, and to underline that the sustainable blue economy is the better alternative for en ensuring that our oceans and marine environment can continue to sustain our needs, growth, and common future. In Iceland, we built affluence by adopting an open, export-oriented oriented and market economy and by developing the use of our natural resources into a successful, sustainable and competitive industries. A key sector in that development is our sustainable fisheries and seafood processing sector, or the blue economy of Iceland. Half a century ago, the government of Iceland decided to introduce a nationwide sustainable fisheries management system as we were experiencing imminent collapse of our most valuable fish stocks. The system was developed in consultations with our marine scientists, economists, and the fishing industry. In brief, it is composed of three key elements, a science resource mass assessment and management, transferable catch quotas, and transparent surveillance and enforcement mechanism. As a result of this management system, the fishery sector in Iceland is today one of the most advanced sustainable fisheries in the world, with highly sophisticated fishing fleet and processing industry. Moreover, not only does the fisheries sector provide us with the most valuable export commodities of Iceland, but it also supports scientific re modern research, extensive marine research and development, and a fast-growing high-tech innovation sector extending from marine-related activities to the health sector. In other words, what started out as an attempt to save our fishing industry 
created not only the most advanced and prosperous sustainable fisheries industry in the world, it also created a whole new ecosystem of innovation, products, and high-tech services that extend, extend far beyond the fisheries sector. This high-tech development emerged as we shifted the focus of our fishing industry from quantity to quality. With less fish available, the industry discovered that it had to get the most value out of every single fish it caught and produced in the aquaculture stations. As a result, an advanced and highly efficient high-tech industry emerged which today also provides the global market with the leading food processing and cooling equipment and IT technologies that maximize the yield and minimize food waste. While these efficient technologies and equipment of high automation were initially in invented to process fish, they are now also being applied to other food production, including meat. Icelandic industries have gone even further in the full utilization of the fish that we catch and produce by extracting material from our fisheries for pharmaceuticals, medical products, marine supplements, proteins, cosmetics, and even fashion and design products. And the industry has had further snowball effects for naval engineering firms software developers, equipment producers, and shipbuilders that now offer their services in such areas as ship design, fishing gear, and IT solutions, all aimed at saving energy and reducing waste in the sector. They've also developed high sophisticated IT system for the traceability of the marine products offered to the market to allow the consumer to know where the product comes from. And there seems to be no limit to the innovations possible as we pursue the goal of achieving 100% 100% use and utilization of every fish that we catch and we produce. Ladies and gentlemen, I have described the paradox that the blue economy is facing, and I gave an example from my own country, Iceland, how that paradox can be transformed into sustainability, innovation, and economic success. Just to conclude, if you are looking towards the modern economy as a source of continued growth and innovation for the future, we should only be focusing on promoting sustainable economic activities, because only sustainable economic activities will sustain and secure our common future. Moreover, the many decades of experience of countries like Iceland demonstrate that it is both viable and possible to operate a sophisticated and science-based marine resource management systems that ensure at the same time environmental sustainability and maximizes economic return. I thank you for your attention and I wish you all success and uh, an exchange, successful exchange at the 2023 Sension Global Marine Economic Forum. Have a very good day.